In this video, CrowdMonsters.com will demonstrate how you can laser target new backers for your crowdfunding project, manipulate discussions, capture leads with commercial intent, and drive traffic to your project, and most importantly, get new backers, all in about five minutes. In this example, we'll be promoting a Kickstarter game, Explore It, Valley of the Dead King, which is currently funded at $41,000 as of March 13, 2017. The project creators did a great job on this, and I have no doubt that the leads we'll be generating will be interested enough in this game to back this project. The strategy is simple. We're going to use our most powerful lead generating software to find people who are looking for new tabletop games. And this strategy will work for your crowdfunding project as well, no matter what niche your Kickstarter is in. CrowdMonsters.com used the very same method to raise over $300 in donations for Arnold Abbott, all in a period of about 12 hours, all on autopilot. Why 12 hours? Well, Indiegogo thought we were running a scam, but as you can see, the project went live at 10 p.m. and was closed down by noon the next morning. You can see here we generated 390 visitors and four donations for a conversion rate of about 1%. This is a tremendous success for a project that really doesn't offer any tangible rewards. This is your software dashboard, and this is where you'll be adding your accounts. You can use your own accounts, buy accounts from Fiverr, or have the software create accounts for you. In this case, we'll be adding some of our own. The accounts you'll be adding will include Google, LinkedIn, Yahoo Answers, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, forums and blogs, as well as Discuss. If you don't know what Discuss is, it's a big deal. All of our backers for Arnold Abbott came from Discuss because at that time, the software was not compatible with all of these social networks. You'll see your accounts in the dashboard once they've been connected. Additionally, you can add as many accounts as you like for any social network you want. If you want to add 20 Facebook accounts, you can. Next, add keywords that are related to your project. I'll be adding tabletop games like Settlers of Catan along with several successfully funded Kickstarter tabletop games. The software will now find all online conversations related to all the keywords we've input. These are called streams, and they are full of people talking about the very same solutions that our Kickstarter provides. Regardless of what niche your project is in, there will be an endless supply of streams for your niche as well. The first column is forums and blogs. The second is questions and answer sites such as Yahoo Answers. The third column includes Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Google, while the fourth column is video sites such as YouTube. Now let's take a look at just a few of the posts. This person wants to know where the best place is to buy board games, and they've mentioned several of the games in our list. Here is a person with an audience of over 7,000 asking for the best two-player board games. This person wants to know about games that are similar to Settlers of Catan, and on the right, they are looking for fun games for freshmen in college. These are posts with commercial value. That means they are looking to make a purchase. These are the people we'll be targeting. But that's not the power of the software. We can see how much traffic goes to this post daily, as well as the audience size. So when we post, we know that it will not just be seen by that person, but by all the traffic going to that post as well. Now let's go ahead and add a second batch of keywords and create a new stream. In this case, I'm going to be targeting more long tail searches. And now our stream is populated. Remember, all streams are sortable by date, content, or even social network. This poster is looking for board games for small groups of people while this family is looking for a new Friday night board game. The opportunities are endless. I did not sort through these posts in any way, and by the time this video is done, there will literally be hundreds more. Now that we've seen the power of streams, let's go ahead and start getting some Kickstarter backing traffic. In every post is a taskbar, which will allow us to reply to the post, send a direct message, and check the traffic and audience size of the post. 
This post has a current audience size of 30, plus 13 daily visits. Over a duration of our Kickstarter, our comment will be seen not less than 400 times. You'll have no problem finding posts with audiences in excess of several thousand viewers over the duration of your Kickstarter. We'll go ahead and reply to the post with an intelligent comment about our Kickstarter. We'll choose the account we'd like to reply with and paste our comment. We can also add images, videos, links, and geographic locations if we like. What's even more powerful is we can reply to the post from several different accounts and even schedule our accounts to post for us. Let's go ahead and keep posting for a bit. Paste the comment and click OK. You can see the post was successful via the taskbar in the bottom left corner of the software's dashboard. By clicking My Activities, you can see your reports as well as the traffic forecast as well as other advanced options. I recommend sorting your YouTube stream based on the audience size to find the biggest YouTubers and videos in your Kickstarter niche. Once again, we can see the views, likes, dislikes, and number of comments. By clicking the video's link, we can watch the video within the software's dashboard. We can also leave a comment related to our Kickstarter, which will be seen by everyone who has commented on the video. I would also recommend sending a direct message to the promoting YouTuber and offering a reward in exchange for promoting your project on their channel. Some of these YouTubers have so many subscribers that they can get your project funded in 48 hours. I would contact all of them. The software has too many options to go over each one, but let's take a look at some core features. The file menu will allow you to save your project and reports to Dropbox for those of you collaborating in Teams, while the Preferences drop-down will allow you to add proxies, capture settings, and multiple accounts. The scheduler allows you to set the software up to perform tasks at specific times for when you can't be there. You can even set multiple accounts to comment and reply to your own comments from multiple profiles. Those are the basics of our most powerful crowdfund backing software available from crowdmonsters.com. We personally use this software on every project we promoted and done so with amazing results. Even better, the software is fun to use. Just sit back on the couch, watch TV, and drive traffic. Visit crowdmonsters.com to pick up a copy of the software for yourself and get your project back today. To see all of our crowdfunding promotion methods, visit us at crowdmonsters.com. And thanks for watching, folks.